What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Electro Rap. If this is the first time you're at my channel, please do consider subscribing. Please do smash that like button. If you like the content, if you like electric groms, if you like electric dirt bikes, if you like brapping, please, please do. It really helps me out. So we are here in LA. We're at the Mad Scientist Lair. We got Mark and Kevin here with me this time. The reason that we're here is because last week, Mark was chomping out the bit to get some work done. So we met him halfway and dropped off the Grom to him. And supposedly the Grom's ready to ride now. He's made some huge progress. I haven't seen it myself. I really don't know exactly what's the deal with it, but he says it's ready for a test ride. So I'm super anxious to find out what kind of work has been done to it, how it looks, and more importantly, I'm super excited to finally ride this thing. So let's go check it out. All right, here it is. Ooh, let's take a little walk around before we check out any of the details. Yes, look at that sprocket. Look at that. We're having brap talk. Brap talk. So, what's going on over here? Check this out. So, Mark made this. This is freaking amazing. Not only did he make that, he made the sprocket. So the splines on this motor are super unique. So he custom made the splines for the sprockets. He made this. He made it so that the bearing supported the end of the motor shaft. I got him this carbon fiber uh, and uh, sent it up to him with this sprocket and a couple other bits and bobs. And then he modified it to uh, support some of the load and also look totally rad. And then we added a little roller. And uh, so... As you can see, and I, when I say we, I mean Mark did it, and then I just was like, sick. So that was my contribution. So we're fully aware that the sprocket is humongous and might impede turning. That's an issue. Um, we're going to get a bigger tire, and then we're going to see if we can gear down. And We're going to do something. So we're going to make sure we're going to be able to scrape peg, though. There's no way I'm going to accept not scraping peg. But for now, I actually think it looks freaking kind of cool. Um, and then on this side, we still got some work to do. But we got the motor wires lengthened, the sensor wires lengthened, everything's hooked up. We have everything tucked up inside. And then we also got the carbon fiber here, just like on the other side. So all this stuff, more or less semi-finalized, like everything's structurally sound, everything's hooked up and wired, um, and supposedly it works. We got the switch gear, the power map selector. This is already mounted up, so it's, right now it's just kind of sitting there, but we got the screen. Everything is there and hooked up. Six hours later. All right. We're going to test this thing out, guys. First ride ever. Other than just like petering for tests like this. We're actually going somewhere. Oh my God. So nice. I almost left my kickstand down. One thing that is for sure is that the chain is super loud. We got Kevin and Mark. They're gonna make sure that I don't get stuck out here. They're gonna film a little bit. It's all a team effort. Right now, we're just kind of heading to the test area. So, this is the maiden voyage, y'all. This is the maiden voyage. See, now it's all quiet because the load is off the roller.
So far, so good. 12 seconds later. So the only thing I think we need to keep an eye on is the, 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 the counter shaft bracket. Make sure none of those little screws are back. So if you just look into the cover, see if any of them are Yep, they sure are. are they? Yep. Yeah. Good thing you pointed that out. Yeah, because it's about to come out. Really? Yeah. It's almost out? Yeah. Oh, there you go. We can lift it. We have the ramp. We have the ramp. Already found our first problem. But. Yeah, she's casting for So far, so good. Nobody died. Need some Loctite on that bad boy. Yeah, I, we really need to drill the heads and just safety wire. You know, Loctite. Safety this, wire? Yeah. Huh. All right. So, second test, we're going to make sure that the fix that we just did is working, and then we're just going to continue with the testing that we were doing, which is basically just, can this thing take the load? Will the chain stay on? How hot is it going to get? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it feels good. The screws aren't loose. Probably rotate through, check them all. And they're all tight. Well, they're all in place. Correct. <laughs> they're still there. <laughs> Thank you, safety wire. <laughs> Thank you, safety wire. No, there's no safety wire. <laughs> Come back here, fool. I'll race you. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Zero to six. All right, so we're about to just, we gotta test this thing out. So we're gonna increase the amount of throttle input that we're giving it, and we're gonna ramp up the speed slowly, and hopefully I don't die. That's the that's goal. Let's do it. Right? That's about how you had it. Yeah, Look at the freaking hub. Yeah, that's the slop in the, in the push. Whatever. All right, time to die. Nah. <laughs> Mark said. So... You know when the guy that built it telling you not to do it is probably not smart. Well, I'm not saying. Well, it depends what you mean. <laughs> I mean, I went go for any land speed record. So it's got another 50 miles an hour in it or so. <laughs> I mean, you gotta look at some of the, the footage. It's, it sounds like a jet going by. Yeah, dude. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loud. You, you will. You will.
around you. So faster than I was going on. <laughs> I, I take no responsibility. Mark on the record saying none of this is his fault and we already verbally agreed, so. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Oh lord. You were going faster than me. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I felt the front pick up and oh, the yeah. it, it, the bar just went limp. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's a few hard pulls too, wide open. Yeah. Yeah. I was holding it probably for a good four or five seconds. Yeah. Gone through. Well, to answer and see what RPM it was. Get some good multi-tool data on this one. Yeah. 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 later all right so we're back from testing went actually stopped at chaparro motorsports got a bigger tire so we get a little bit more clearance on the left hand turns we're still working on that i think we might get a different rear sprocket but for now it's good it's actually not bad all this stuff in multi-tool looks really good that's the tool that tells us everything about the uh basically the drivetrain system temperatures etc and right now we're just kind of working on buttoning up just like hardware stuff we're gonna get a, a cover put on this make sure all the hardware's there no hardware's missing uh, we swapped out the chain to an o-ring chain and we're working on the uh chain roller to see if we can get it a little bit quieter but 12 seconds later <laughs> At the Mod Scientist Lair, it's getting dark, but we got this on. So, ended up getting a little end cap from the red shift to fit. Getting it all polished up. There's the carbon fiber. Mark is taking apart the YZ because reasons. Unknown. It's just such a joyful experience owning a gas bike. 20 year old product, baby. I love it. Take it apart every week. Two gas bikes in a million pieces and three electric bikes complete. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Hmm. Provocative. Provocative, he says. Tomorrow. So, it's in the morning on Sunday. We're here at Chaparro Motorsports, which is the biggest motorcycle store ever. We're gonna get some parts for the YZ because the Grom build is basically on the tail end of the build process. So we're gonna just work on the gas bikes right now while we're here. So we're gonna pick up some parts because we're in the test and tune phase. So we have to do a lot of testing of the Grom, looking at a lot of data, not a lot of wrenching. So while well, we got Mark here to help us out, we're gonna get some wrenching done on these gas bikes because they need some milk. Let's get some parts. Got it. This place is huge. Have a good day. Thank you. It just goes on and on and on. 
Got those two loaded up, working on the YZ right now. Got some gaskets and some stuff, took the hat off, did a couple repairs. I'll save that for another video. But basically this thing is gonna be back in action, so we'll see it shortly. About ready to load this thing up. All right, that's all we got for this week's video. So, recap, we went to Mark's. He pretty much damn near had the thing buttoned up by the time we got there. This dude, MSC Performance, huge shout out, freaking killed it. And we took it down, did some tests. As you saw, they went splendidly. Uh, pulls hard, runs good, no safety issues. So it's pretty much time to move on to the tuning aspect of this, the test and tune, the, the data. We gotta get into the data and figure out what we're gonna do next and how we're gonna make it go faster. That's the quest, breaking records quarter miles, eight miles, top of speed. And in order to do that, we got a ton more work to do. So if you wanna see that, make sure you do subscribe to this channel. If you want to see my YZ250 builds and the Ulta Redshift MXR vlogs, definitely make sure you ring the bell below the subscription or next to it. And if you like this video, please do smash the like button. You know it helps me out. If you don't like this video, you know what to do. All right, that's all I got. So as always, until next time, Electro out.